hey, I want to show you a feature that I like to use. It's the star button. And I use this all the time in Canva now, and it does save me a lot of time in the long run. So let me just show you how to do that. So I have a document open here. Let's say I'm looking for a picture to replace a photo to replace that one. I'm going to go to photos. And let's say I'm just looking around for one. So maybe I find the perfect one that I want to use in this spot. Um, but also I'm seeing all these other ones. I'm like, oh, these are beautiful. I might want to use these another time. If you click on those three dots and then you click star, it's all going into your starred folder. So you can really, rather than just having to put these like an all in a stock photo folder right now, if you're just doing it really quickly, you don't want to get distracted from what you're working on. You know, I don't want it to take me away from what I'm trying to do here. I could just hurry and star it. And then later I can go back and categorize it. And um, you can do this with templates. So if you're looking through templates and you see one that you're liking the look of that you might want to use sometime, you can just star that and it goes in the starred folder. And um, same with elements. You can star your favorite elements. That's already starred. You can just click on those three dots and add it to a folder. And then to find that folder, you're going to go to your projects and starred. And you'll see everything you've ever starred is going to be here. And then later, if you want to take some time and categorize all of this, you could put all of these photos in your stock photo folder. Um, and, and you can do the same thing with Instagram and with Elements, kind of have your own folders. This is just a quick way to save them so you can find them again because Canva has so many different options for you. It's sometimes hard to find that one thing that you saw. So as you find it, star it, and it'll be saved for the next time you need it.